This one's for John. Now, John, if you have log base 3 of 3x plus 8 is equal to log base 3 of x squared plus x, what we just talked about by using the equality property of logarithms, we know that whatever we're evaluating each logarithm for have to be equal to each other, right? So now we have 3x plus 8 is equal to x squared plus x. Now again, this is a quadratic equation. So to solve a quadratic equation, we've got to make sure we set it equal to 0. So I'll subtract the 3x, and I'll subtract the 8. So therefore, I have 0 equals x squared minus 2x minus 8. Now we've got to say, all right, how are we going to solve this, right? Factoring, quadratic formula, or completing the square. Um, I'm not, eh, I could complete the square, but factoring is always the easiest one and the quickest usually. So we see what two numbers multiply to give us negative 8 and add to give us a negative 4. So 0 equals x minus 4 times x plus 2. Then we can apply the zero product property and say that x minus 4 equals 0 or x plus 2 equals 0. Solve for x, x equals 4, x equals negative 2. Done. I know I did go pretty fast, but therefore you can see all the work. Do you have any questions? Yes. So as long as, your, as long as your logarithms are set equal to each other and they have the same base, we can eliminate them and just evaluate for and just solve for what they've evaluated for. Yeah, I, once I have this equation, it's a quadratic, right? I can't just, I can't combine the x squared with the x. So it's a quadratic equation. So I get them all on the same side and set them equal to 0. Because for a quadratic, there's three solving processes that we've talked about. Quadratic formula, completing the square, and factoring. And in this attempt, I, cho I showed you how to do it by factoring. Okay. All right. Good talk.